Hello everyone. Well, here is uh, the longevity, uh, long, longevity, longevity uh, tank on week number seven. As you can see, it's still quite clear. Uh, and similarly, this uh, this tank was also as clear, more or less, uh, seven week until I changed the feeding schedule. And then it started turned uh, this yellow that you see, the color yellow. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm has since day one. I only have been feeding two times a week. So one day, and in, in, excuse me, in each feeding day, I use a level scoop of the traditional sea monkey. I have used exclusively, one day I used this, and the other day on the week, I used the grow quickly. And I plant, they have grown enough, so, uh, I don't think it's necessary, but just to be consistent. Uh, something different uh, from the other tanks I have started, uh, this is the uh, submersible uh, tank heater. This was before uh, back here in the algae tank for a long time. So when, and also the probe was over here also. So when I moved them here, I did not remove the algae that had grown on them. So I transferred algae quite quickly. Uh, so I think in a week already it was starting to spread one. Normally for me it takes around a month. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, when I started the tank I was bubbling this at maximum. Uh, because uh, as brain shrimp breeders say, you want the eggs to be uh, oops, uh, moving around in the tank. Uh, so uh, that sometimes, if there are too many eggs, causes what is named X dam. So what you do is you put them down with the back of the part, and don't worry, you will not squish them. So what else have been different? Oh, yes, uh, of course, I mentioned the uh, submersible uh, tank here. That right now is keeping the temperature at 79.3. So the temperature uh, since I started have been between 79 and 83. So it's significantly higher than the other tanks that through the same period have been around 68 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, whereas and uh, I have left after uh, I think uh, the second week when I thought that most of the eggs have hatched, I have let, uh, left at this rate the bubbling uh, to optimize the uh, osmosis process. Uh, might not be necessary, but uh, just to be sure that the oxygen levels are at the maximum levels possible. Uh, something else. Uh, I started this tank at uh, around 8 ppt. Yes, it's kind of low, but as you can see, this guy uh, guys uh, grew quite large. And But of course, you do not want to keep it at that level. So what I have been doing, I have been adding the equivalent. Uh, uh, and I know this works because uh, you can see in my other videos, but 12, yeah, it sounds like a lot, but uh, I have been doing that since week number four, I believe. And each week I add uh, of plasma three, 12 leveled uh, scoops of the a standard spoon, a current spoon of the sea monkeys. 
So, and I plan to add the, the whole package. At this point, uh, I have increased the salinity to 14.1 ppt from 8. So, uh, and ideally, I uh, would like to take it to 12. What is with the focus? It's so fast, but focus today. Anyhow, so, oh yes, about the food. So I plan to continue, uh, possibly a month more or, or even further. I will not feed these two. I might add this one, but uh, like a month or two months later, and I might not add this one. I have the strong suspicion that uh, I have read that there are, uh, I think, diatoms, brown diatoms here that make the sea monkeys red when they are growing up, but they eat them. But I think they are, might be the ones who turn uh, most of my tanks yellow with time. Uh, so. It's not a bad thing, it's simply that I don't like it. Uh, so, i just checking, uh, uh, testing to see. At least on seven weeks, only with this and this, uh, have not been uh, that drastic yellow uh, color that I have seen in other tanks. Oh yes, uh, one downside of this is that I already cleaned it, but it was uh, not this one, but the other one. It was surrounded and also came here. The salt was drying. Uh, uh, droplets were jumping around and were landing here and uh, uh, here. So that is a reason uh, actually, this one I think it started at 12 ppt, and uh, I checked it today and it was at 10.8. So I need to do something to uh, reduce the, the salt that is lost because of the bubbling. And actually, I found a solution. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Uh, essentially, I have these silicone mats. Uh, it's, it's, it's related to uh, a drying fruit or something like that. Uh, fruit, fruit, drying fruit. And uh, as you can see, it holds a, a, a little the salt here, but a. It is not uh, uh, the. Uh, well, uh, anyhow, I cut it and uh, let me put it to you to see if I can do it with one hand. Uh, okay, so essentially. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So the point is that the, when the bubbles burst, it hit uh, this in the upper part, uh, the, this silicon mesh. So it reduces the, the loss of salt. And, uh, uh, you can do your adaptation. Uh, this is a makeshift uh, solution, but you get the idea. Warning, uh, I tried to do uh, a plastic foot wrap, and the problem is that uh, it got stuck here and uh, uh, the water would come here, and it looked like, like it was not evaporating because I would not see the, the water running, but eventually, through the border started to build up and that is how this tank got to uh, 8 ppt. 
Anyhow, so let me put this in. Okay. So that is how I have set up a, the quote unquote uh, longevity tank. I think right now there are about eight individu individuals. The last time I attempted this in a less than optimal tank, uh, I was able to follow uh, the survivors until uh, 36 weeks, 36. Uh, there were three females and two males. And uh, hopefully this, uh, they will last longer in this one. Uh, so, what time we say? Oh yes, forgot, important. Uh, ammonia levels, is something like intestine also. This one looks like that once you have the ammonia levels high, it's kind of difficult to lower it. But once they are low, looks like it's easy. Because I started this with 25 ammonia and now it's zero. So this is zero, that is zero, this is six plus, this is six plus, that is three, and that is three uh, parts per million. Um, so apparently algae is key, the growth of algae is key to keep the ammonia levels down, but I'm still uh, uh, testing that. But at least everything indicates because uh, although this has a lot of algae, it has also a lot of, of uh, junk. Uh, so uh, so that, that's why, and this one also, so that's why they still at three. Uh, but looks like you can start and keep it at zero. I have been able to put, do it with these two. So, a time we tell. At least at seven weeks, those two are at zero of ammonia levels. Okay, I think that is all with respect of the longevity tank. See you guys next time.